Well, I think there are at least three things from our reform tradition that uh, has, have a direct impact on business, economic life, and trade. First thing is that uh, the reform tradition believes in a sovereign God, that is a God who is God of all life. And therefore there are not certain parts of life where we owe allegiance to God and certain other parts of our life where we owe allegiance to something else. So our business dealings, our dealings with life in the family, our dealings with life in the church and the political realm, all uh, exist to glorify God. So that's one thing. The second thing that I think the Reformed tradition stresses is that each one of us has a calling by God. We are called by God um, to glorify God in the aspects of our daily life. And so business, dealing, and trade is one aspect uh, of our life, and, and many of us are called to glorify God in business and commerce and trade, uh, and that we are to celebrate that as a gift from God. The third thing is that the Reformed tradition also recognizes that we as human beings are prone to idolatry. That is, we can twist things that, are, that God gives us for good into things that are destructive. Um, and so, uh, Business and commerce, which uh, ought to be ordered for the common good and the flourishing of life, can be twisted in ways, uh, selfish ways, that lead simply to glorification of ourselves um, rather than others and, and God. So those are, I think, three things that the Reformed tradition stresses about business and commerce.